So today I want to discuss a couple things. The first thing is more of a query with all of you watching. I was thinking with the regular news commentary I provide on this channel, that perhaps I would also, for the sake of those who are at all interested in the lives and careers and decisions made by certain politicians, doing profile style videos on select members of parliament. That way, I could give you a better understanding of those politicians and why they're held with such disregard and disdain by the public. And me. Mostly me. If that is something you are interested in, please let me know down below, but also tell me which MP you think would be worthy of being covered first. Because there are quite a few, and such a video would be quite tricky depending on how long they have served and just how much trash they've been involved in. Now the subject of today's video, as you could tell from the title, is Ding ding ding, we have an election. It's happening. Yesterday, a number of bills were brought forward, and I want to cover each of those quickly before we talk about what is about to happen to this country. Firstly, an amendment was brought forward, a bill even, to lower the voting age to 16, but also to enable EU nationals to vote in our elections. Now, during the debates, the most commonly touted argument in favour was that the Commonwealth gets access to voting in our elections if they are here. This argument is null and void, as we are leaving the EU and not leaving the Commonwealth, since we are the head of it. This was, understandably so, and rightly so, voted down in Parliament. The next one was a bill brought forward by the Liberal Democrats and the Scottish Nationalist Party. I'm going to correct myself, the illiberal undemocrats and the Scottish people. Their bill would have seen no deal legally removed off the table, which again you cannot do, and have a general election on the 9th of December. Now eventually, Labour supported this. Well, it was defeated, which meant there was only one more amendment bill thing being brought to Parliament, and that was Boris Johnson's proposal of a general election on December 12th. Boris has now won two votes in Parliament, as he was successful in getting this done. Many are accusing Boris Johnson of doing it so that he can force no deal or his deal through Parliament, therefore their preconditions included his withdrawal agreement not being brought back. Oops, that backfired a bit, didn't it? There is a possibility that during an election he could in fact try and do it, but I wouldn't recommend it. It is more than likely now that we will have a new government. But who the government is, is tricky. If Boris is arrogant, he will think that he can do this alone without the support of the DUP or the Brexit party. I believe he needs the support of the Brexit party. Perhaps not the DUP, but it would be good to have them at the table, especially when it comes to the backstop and, of course, Northern Ireland's place within the United Kingdom. Stormont needs to uh, be a bit more vocal, if they weren't already, that is. People are accusing Jeremy Corbyn of being afraid. Last night I indicated on a Euro truck, I mean American truck stream, that he is Lino, an acronym that aptly describes the kind of leader he is. Leader in name only, for those who are at all interested in what L-I-N-O stands for. It is while he believes to be the Prime Minister in waiting and ready and able to campaign, unlikely that he will in fact win. That's not to say I don't think he has a chance, he does have a chance. But I guess it comes down to, now, whether he can get the younger voters that are not 16, who would have ordinarily voted for him, to now vote for him the 18-year-olds, that is, and get more young people involved enough to outvote the older Conservative voters. The Liberal Democrats are undoubtedly going to take some seats from the Labour Party. They currently sit on 17, with a number of them now pushing for seats in other constituencies instead. It is unlikely, though, because a number of them voted for Conservative members, the constituencies where the MPs now are Liberal Democrat and not Conservative, or Labour for that matter, the constituencies will then vote for the parties they would want to have instead. The Liberal Democrats are as not so much of a threat as people think, now that they have lost, essentially, another core part of their voter base that would ordinarily vote for them as well. The SNP believe that they can wipe out the Scottish Conservatives. I disagree. As Ian Blackford pointed out yesterday in Parliament, 68% voted to remain. 
you're going to be very hard pressed to convince the other 32%. That's not to say those 32%, by the way, were conservatives, some were undoubtedly Labour and Liberal Democrat. It'll be very interesting to see how it plays out. I am, of course, keen to have the SMPs stay where they are because they are highly entertaining to me and for any PMQ streams we do, which hopefully there'll be one tonight. The Brexit party are the unknown dog in this. Nigel Farage has indicated he has vetted 600 candidates and is ready to campaign in all of them. I look forward to that. I look forward to seeing if he can win any seats as well. Last time he led a campaign in the United Kingdom was 2015, and he got 4 million votes, but not a single seat. I would very much like to see if he can get any seats, because actually, his party can serve a rather useful purpose in Parliament when it comes to basically being the biggest dicks in the room. While following parliamentary procedure with a new speaker, depending on if Burko stands down tomorrow or not, or whether it'll be January instead, we will find out soon enough. If Boris Johnson works with the Brexit party, he will win. Many will accuse him of kowtowing to the far right, because of course, Brexit is a far right policy. Right. It's not like it was something that actually came from the eyes of the left first. Which it did. I should point that out. But I guess right people bad, even though no one really cares what political side you're on, as long as you're correct. And as long as you don't make it hard for me to live, I don't really care. Music